Kristen, mm-hmm. good morning. Good to see you. Hi, guys. How are you? We were just talking about you. Have you heard? <laughs> I heard. I heard a little bit. What were you, you saying? All well, good Tanya, things, right? Ta- it's all the great things. But Tanya, you know, she just, it's like she goes on these expeditions looking for these stories, and she comes back excited. And I think she was excited about this one. Tanya, sum up what you told us and the question we want to ask Kristen. So it I was from your Instagram. Hi, Kristen. I love you. Hi, I love you. <laughs> um, it was from your Instagram Q&A, and it was the question of, are you happy? And your response was, I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. And I really resonated with that because I think people equate marriage as happiness and you were married for many years and you're the happiest you've ever been in your single. And so I kind of went into that kind of conversation of being single doesn't mean you're miserable and being married doesn't mean you're happy. Yeah, no, I mean, it's so true. I actually think it's really important to be comfortable on your own before getting into a relationship. I think that A lot of people think someone can make them happy or they can fill this void. And that's not true at all. Happiness is an inside job and you really need to have your own stuff together before entering a relationship to have a successful relationship, I think. So you met Kristen on Laguna Beach and the Hills. She's gone on to be an entrepreneur. See, I have never been comfortable alone. Like I always, I like to be quiet. What are you running from? Ryan, what are you running from? You're you're codependent. I just like, That's not I like, healthy. it is healthy. I like to be around person people, but I don't, I don't love, I, and I don't need to like talk the whole time, but I like yeah. to, I like to share things. Right. So it's like mm-hmm. fun to do and share. I'll, also because I think our job, it's a product. We talk all the time about stuff. Right. So yeah. I, I, and I also have always said, or at least in the last 10 years, I don't believe people need marriage to be happy. I don't believe that. Now, my parents think I'm nuts. <laughs> well, but like I mean, but what years. is marriage? It's a it's a piece of paper. I mean, at the end of the day, you can have that commitment from someone without actually having that legal piece of paper. Yeah. I think, I mean, obviously I'm going through a divorce, but I think marriage only complicates <laughs> things. I think it's very realistic to be together forever and still have that commitment without actually walking down the aisle. Well, yeah, you have to work at it. I don't think it's, you know, for yeah. some people it works out and for some it doesn't. But I feel like people, you don't. Don't get married to be happy. If you're happy and you want to get married, then get married. Exactly. Why do I feel like every day on this show we have this conversation? <laughs> because there's always a weird <laughs> angle that right? it intertwines I, I feel like with. I'm having deja vu Groundhog's Day every <laughs> single time with this conversation. So, Kristen, I'm trying to understand your your world of business. Now, we, we met you on television, but what? how does your world of business look right now? What are the different irons in the fire? Yeah. So, I mean, majority of my time is spent on Uncommon James, which is my lifestyle brand that I've had for almost five years, coming up on five years, actually, in about a week. And it's primarily jewelry, but we also have skincare now and some home accessories, candles, stuff like that. So that's that's my baby. That's my fourth child. I love it. Um, I have complete creative freedom to do whatever I want. So it's been a dream come true. And then I just turned in another cookbook. So that'll be my fourth book, third cookbook. Um, and you know, I do a little hosting here and there, but to be honest, I'm at a place in my life now where my, my world is primarily my children. I have them half the time now, but when I'm mom, I'm mom, I live in Nashville. So I really, to me, all I want to do is be mom and then work on uncommon James and I'm happy. I'm just happy kind of doing my own thing. You're missing, you're missing a person in your life. Meredith Seacrest, she's your neighbor. <laughs> My sister That's right. Is your neighbor. I, know. I need We've you guys to be friends. About that. I yeah. know. I would love to meet her. You should be friends and you should see my little niece. Mm-hmm. She's the she's cutest so thing. Ever. Let's get the kids together. How, I'm, how, I'm how young is your youngest? So my daughter is six. She's in kindergarten. Okay. Well, Flora is. Oh, she four. would love to play with her. Yeah. That's the perfect age. Okay, perfect. Are, my daughter loves younger kids, so that would yeah. work out very well. <laughs> now, UncommonJames.com for Kristen's Jewelry Collection. What's something for Mother's Day that we could get mom? Well, we have, um, it's a bar necklace that says mommy on it. I think that's just a sweet moment from younger kids to give your mom something sweet like that. We also have mugs and like cute kitchen accessories. My middle son, Jackson, loves to give me a mug every single year. So um, I think that's always a safe bet. The Aww. kitchen accessories are cute yeah. from your line. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Are you that's in the kitchen? Are you in the kitchen more that you have Robbie now? 
That's you right. That, I, I right? yeah, and I use I use Kristen's cookbooks. Yeah. So I'm really excited about the new one because they're going to be easier recipes. Because I'm a little bit of an <laughs> amateur in the in the kitchen. And, and that, <laughs> I don't know, like, Tanya. I think you're pretty legit. I see some, some of the stuff you post. Sometimes you need speed too, right? You just want to you want to get yes. to the to the food. Yeah. All right, Kristen. Yes. So much to talk about. Thank you for coming on. Happy Mother's me. Day, Easter, and I will introduce you to Meredith. Please do. All right, you guys. Okay. It's so good to see you. I love good you. Good to see you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye guys.